Hi, this is Elbedo, and I'll explain why you should still pull for Ayato in under 4 minutes. Let's go! Reason number 1 I know, some might say that Ayato is not worth your primos anymore since Nurvillet exists. Just like Ayato, the Hydro Dragon Sovereign is a Hydro main DPS who is undoubtedly stronger both in game and lore wise. And we also have Child, who arguably is more flexible and more fun to use than Ayato. But the thing is, Child just had his rerun in 4.0, while Nur Villette had his in 4.1. So if you don't have them both, this means that it will be a long while for their next reruns. So the next best tall male Hydro main DPS is Ayato. That leads us to reason number 2. Ayato is a Hydro character. What makes Nur Villette and Child worth the pull is, aside from their kits, their element is Hydro. So same goes to Ayato. I made a whole video about why Hydro is the best element in Genshin Impact. Link in the description. But in summary, Hydro characters are very strong because they can trigger a lot of strong reactions which are considered meta. Ayato can create Dendro Course which can turn into Hyper Bloom. It can also trigger vape or help trigger vape for pyro characters like Shangling. I also enjoy using him in taser teams, as well as my favorite freeze teams. This reason alone makes me say that Ayato is still worthy to be pulled even with the existence of stronger main hydro DPSs. Now the third reason why you should still pull for Ayato is related to reason number 2. Since he enabled tons of strong reactions, Ayato has a lot of team choices. Ayato can be in a national team where he helps Shangling trigger vape. This team still stands as one of his strongest. He can also be the bloom trigger for hyper bloom teams. And we know hyper bloom still slaps the spiral abyss until now. Another fun team to use Ayato with is Taser team. Just include one or two off-field electro characters and you're good to go. Ayato is also fun to use in freeze teams. You can even pair him up with his sister Ayaka. Lastly, if you are not a fan of elemental reactions, you can use him as a main hyper carry DPS where all the other team members are support characters. This includes shielders like Zhongli and buffers like Yunjin and Bennett. Reason number 4 is why I love Ayato. He is very easy to build, in the sense that he has a ton of artifacts and weapon choices. For artifacts, you may use his signature Echoes of an Offering, which I would not really recommend to farm unless you have Shao, or 4-piece Heart of Depth which works so well with him, or the 4-piece Nymph Stream which gives a ton of attack and hydro damage. But my favorite is the 4-piece Gladiator's Finale, because even before I got him, I already had a complete gladiator set which I obtained by farming bosses before. It's very easy to get and it's still at par with 4 piece HOD. For weapons, just equip any attack or crit sword and you're good to go. Before we proceed to the last one, please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Twitter for more Genshin Impact content like this. My last reason why Ayato is still a must pull because he just have a simple kit, making him very easy to use. Many will say Ayato's gameplay is boring, which is quite true since you just need to press the normal attack and he'll be slaying his enemies. But this very reason alone makes him very beginner friendly. If you are the type of person who just wants enemies dead without doing complicated setup, Ayato will be your friend. You'll either love him or hate him because of this. We reached the end of the video. Again, this is Elbedo. See you next time.